and we're on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I haven't shaved. Bear with me now, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> How's everyone? <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so, as uh, many of you know, uh, me and life unfortunately got COVID and um, we had to obviously cancel our, not cancel, but postpone our shows in um, in Texas and um, right now I'm devastated absolutely fucking flawed um, we should have been performing um, for you guys and um, you know for whatever reason um, that we obviously there's so many variables that could have went into this but um, for such reason we had to postpone it and um, I'm terribly sorry and uh, for anyone else that um, I think that came to a show that might have got it, I hope you're okay. And um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing really well. I'm recovering extremely well. And um, I just wanted to say um, I'm so sorry that this had to happen. And um, I'm sure in future we'll we'll. we'll um, will take better measures uh, and um yeah i mean i just i just i'm just so devastated that i couldn't um i couldn't perform for you guys and my team is also that much more devastated too and i'm so sorry texas uh but i promise you guys i know <laughs> i know some of the dates aren't that ideal um uh on the post component back but you know if uh, if there's like a way that we could, um, you know, make it up to you guys, we will. And <laughs> and no, I'm not crying. Um, I just have COVID, and it looks like I'm fucking crying, but I'm not. Um, so um, you know, with that being said, um, no, I haven't been crying. This is just, I guess, this is just what COVID does to you. Um, so just. Uh, yeah, my eyes are fucking red, eh? I'm not, I'm not I promise I'm not, <laughs> I promise I'm, I'm sad, but I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Um, but anyway, uh, well, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for the love and support and the supportive messages that you guys have all been sending to me and the team. Um, we've been getting them rather quite well. And yes, I do have a fucking pimple there. Um, let's be real. And um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on live. I wanted to, to tell you guys, tell my fa fans um, personally, and um, um, that I promise we'll make it up to you guys. Or to get them. Yeah, we'll make it up to you guys. This is my first time ever getting Corona. I've never gotten it before, fortunately, but um, this time I did. And, you know, honestly, it, I, it would have been uh, the circumstance to get it because, you know, like just being on the road and my immunity system just dropping. Hangul, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll 저랑 이제 다빈이가 이제 코로나를 걸려가지고요. 그래서 잠시 그 해, 그 텍사스 있는 공연들을 잠깐 밀어놨거든요. 저희가 그래가지고 너무 너무나 이제 아좀 아, 안타까운 일이죠. 안타까운 일인데 진짜 너무 진짜 힘드네요. <웃음> 처음 걸려보는 건데 진짜 많이 힘들긴 힘드네요. 진짜. 근데 이제 그런 이제 다행히도 지금 저희가 빨리 어잘 낳고 있고 어 
빠른 회복을 하고 있고 음 그걸로 인해서 저희가 이제 곧또 또 이제 공연 하러 들어갈게요. 절대 이제 우는 건 아닌데요. 약간 그냥 이게 걸리다 보니까 기침을 계속 하니까 눈 약간 눈이 눈물이 계속 나오더라고요. But um, 처음이에요, 진짜. It's my first time ever. Um, and um, if I was to share um, a little bit of my how I got through it or how I'm getting through it is um, so it affected my throat. Of course it did. Fucking had to affect my throat. Um, it affected my throat, and the minute it went through my th- throat, I my voice turned into Batman, and it just like I couldn't talk. I was croaking, and it was just like um, it was just yeah, it was pretty bad. It hurt so much, and um, I resorted to um. Drinking a lot of uh, throat tea. 혼혈이냐고요? 아니요, 저 한국 사람이에요. <웃음> 저 혼혈 아니에요. <웃음> 완전 한 한국인입니다. Um, and um, so obviously, where, where was I? Oh yeah. And then um, they said sleep is the best medicine, but I can't like I can't sleep on command. Like I suck at sleeping. I I need medication sometimes to to sleep, um, especially if I'm having like a manic episode. But I was so scared that this might collide with one, and I kind of felt edgy a little bit. And um, yeah, look like just look at my hair; it's a fucking mess. 머리를 묶으려고 해. 머리를 못못못못못못 말을 못 들고 있어. 머리를 못 묶겠어요. 머리 너무 아주 길이가 애매해가지고 Anyway, so 그래가지고 um, Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I can't sleep, but they said sleep is the best medicine. So I was like panicking because I I really wanted it to get better. Um, you know, I just really wanted it to get better. Obviously, because I wanted to get back to you guys. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to. Me and my team didn't want to risk putting anyone else at stake. You know, it was already, it was already just, it was already airborne. So fuck, man. Um, but yeah, um, thankfully it it wasn't that bad. But I am having a little trouble breathing. Um, I don't know if that's normal. Um, I don't know if that's normal. Um, but yeah, I'm having a little trouble breathing. Um, but I guess that comes back around. Um, I don't know in the next few days. So, yeah, I just wanted to say I'm good, guys, and um, life's getting better. My eyes are freaking red, but that's you know it's because of COVID. And um, just wanted to say thank you for the supporting messages again. Um, I'm so sorry, uh, Texas. But we are definitely going to come back to you guys, and um, Tabin's making a good recovery as well. And luckily, a lot of the team did not contract it. Um, so yeah, we're making a full recovery. Um, can't wait to can't wait to see you guys. I really can't wait. Um, <laughs> don't be scared when you see me. <laughs> uh, 몸 몸조리 진짜 잘 해야 되는 것 같아요. 진짜 제가 코로나 한번안 걸렸다고 약간 너무 어 그러니까 생각 없이는 아닌데 그래도 뭔가 안 걸릴 것 같... 아 나는 안 걸리겠지라는 생각을 하면 안될것 같아요 진짜 어떻게든 주, 저는 심지어 주사를 다 맞았는데도 불구하고 걸렸는데 이게 아직도 아 좀... 약간 옛날만큼은 다행히 그렇게 막 모르겠어요. 약간 코로나가 이제 뭐 여러 그 뭐라 하지? 여러 코로나 뭐라고 해야 되냐? 남매로 이렇게 퍼졌잖아요. 근데 저는 그걸 걸린 것 같아요. 오미크론? 
근데 다행히 오미크론은 약간 좀 감기? 감기 정도? 야. 그래서 다행인 것 같은데 근데 여러분들도 조심해야 됩니다 꼭 건강을 꼭 챙기시고요 어, 항상 어, 그게 우선, 우선이에요 아무래도 Anyway, and you know um, I'm like so just isolating myself, you know, and just been, I guess I've just been recovering, growing up my beard, which I didn't. And, you know, uh, speaking of um, just a few things that I was mentioning earlier about my experience of Corona and if anyone's going through it right now, but um, I've been eating a lot of vitamins so obviously they recommend you to take just a shitload of vitamins you know just um just freaking inhale it um just 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 chug that stuff you know and i've been taking so much vitamins that i gotta fucking people um <laughs> that doesn't make any sense <laughs> but anyway um No, you should take a lot of vitamins because you want to boost your immune system. Um, and I'm my immune system's boosted. Drink a lot of tea, but for fuck's sakes, do not drink the tea with caffeine in it because that is why I couldn't sleep. Um, that's why I couldn't sleep. And I just have trouble sleeping already. And I was drinking tea that like, I think one of it had like caffeine in it and that kept me up and uh, coincidentally the next day I did get more sick um, from that because I couldn't sleep you know I just couldn't sleep <laughs> um, there's my tea that's my tea <laughs> it looks like a bag of grass but it's And and they say, yeah, don't drink dairy. Um, don't make that mistake. Tea's good, but make sure you don't drink tea with caffeine. Unless you're good at drinking caffeine. And you can, like, stay up on that shit for, like... I mean, sorry, knock out on that shit. Like, like no other. Um, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, do you like my necklace? I like it. Um... A little customized. I don't even know what you call it. It's chokers. I didn't shave. I did not shave. I like ginger. Ginger is good for the tea. Um, I think. Yeah. Do you like my necklace? Anyway. Um. Oh yeah, and I, I've, I got. Um. So I went to the hospital and I got. Um. I got a. Um. I got steroid shots. You know. Um, not the ones that make your muscles get big, but the ones that take down your inflammation. And um, so after getting that, um, apparently it's not. By the way, it's not. It's not good to take a lot of steroid shots. Um, um, the the muscle kind, and I guess kind of the medicinal kind. I don't know if that is because obviously it it does that damage to a lot of your nerves. But I needed the information to go down my neck and it did it would and it went down but the only problem is the next day it came back because it was the pain that it was just getting numb and i'm feeling better now um by the way i'm going to name this um pimple bob um i'll call this pimple bob um, Bob the pimple, can we pop it? No. Um, what else helped me? Oh yeah, so speaking of food, you can't really eat food. Um, 밥은 약간 코로나 걸릴 때 소화가 잘안 되더라고요. 그래가지고 음그 뭐라 해야 되지? 음 소화 잘안 돼가지고. Oatmeal, oatmeal, my mother So I can't digest. You can't really digest when you when you have Corona. Not in the beginning, at least. But put an onion beside your bed, 
What does it, that helps you? Why? Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. Intrusive thoughts. Um. Oh yeah. The. I. Oh yeah. That's what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. Sending. Um. Sorry. Um. Oh yeah, it's too hard to eat. Um, because obviously you, you have a very your body has to take time to digest a lot of the food, and you don't want to digest very chaguk jogging food. Um, and meaning you don't want to it's like stimulating food, right? You don't want to, you don't want to avoid. Uh, salty, sweet stuff like that. So I've been eating a whole lot of oatmeal, and I've just found out. I've I've I found this brand, and it's called Quakers. <laughs> Do you know Quakers? I like Quakers. Um, so I've been I've been becoming very friendly with my friend Quaker, um, and the instant oatmeal. 라면은 진짜 먹으면 큰일 나요. <laughs> 라면 먹으면 라면처럼 이렇게 쭈르륵 나와요. <laughs> 그 그러니까 라면 작적인 거 먹으면 안 되고. Anyway, 그아 oh, 진짜 그 엉망이냐 지금. Um, 아 oh, 진짜 머리 진짜 어떡하냐 이거 다 잘라버리겠지. Anyway, um, so Quakers, I just found out about Quakers. Quakers가 어, 미국에 있는 오트밀 약간 그냥 인스턴트 같은 햇반처럼 이렇게 막 돌리면 이렇게 먹을 수 있는 거거든요. 근데 진짜 맛있더라고요. 이거 이거 먹고 어, 이거 먹고 소화를 잘 되더라고요. So I got better actually. Um, I I owe it to Quakers. I got better from eating a lot of um, Quaker oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. Um, the apple one is good too, and I also like um, chocolate chip and peanut butter. And I don't know if that's like from Quakers, but it is. But original is good too, and um, Va- vapor rum. 감사합니다. 아무튼 Quaker라는 거 진짜 맛있고요. Um, the brown sugar one is the best. The brown sugar one is the best. Um, Oh, and you know what? This one really helped me too. So in um, 여기 미국에서는 타이레놀을 이 uh, liquid liquid 이 뭐야? 아니 뭐라고 해야 되냐? 이걸 liquid로 음료처럼 이렇게 되어 있거든요. 되게 신기해요. 근데 많이 마시면 안 되겠죠? So I've been drinking a lot of Tylenol, 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 Tylenol. Um, Fluids and that's been helping me. Um, Advil, fruit. By the way, um, looked up online because I had to because I was sick and I wanted to get better really fast for you guys. What was the most recommended thing to eat, fruit-wise? And they said um, grapes. Grapes were the biggest thing that combated against uh, the fight in Corona. And I just found out about that. That's crazy. Um, so I've been eating a lot of a shit ton of grapes. Um, I'm gonna go get some grapes now. Actually, I kind of feel like grapes. Check on my I'm just gonna leave it here because I feel like it's gonna fall off. Check a polo jumbo. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna fall off. I hate dry coughs. Dry coffee, dry coffee. So, um, oh. so I have grapes here. This is my grape bowl. Um, I don't know how to arrange this in a way where I can actually eat while talking to you guys, but um. I hate dry coughs, and I realized um, the dry coughs apparently are because you're inflamed, like you have inflamed lungs or something like that, and that's why it it hurts 
목에는 꿀물이죠 근데 Um, so ginger, I was talking about ginger and honey. Um, so I've been drinking a lot of tea, been drinking a lot of tea and honey. Um, tea and honey, um, hot tea, hot honey, hot ginger, uh, vitamin C. Yeah, you don't got I can joke on. 목에 도미 <웃음> 포도 먹방이 돼 버렸네. I should eat blueberries. How dare you? <웃음> uh, <웃음> 아니. Anyway, um, so Vegemite. Someone said Vegemite. 눈알 반지 따로 제작하냐고요? 따로 제작해야 될것 같아요. 아무래도 사람들이 이제 많이 물어보더라고요. Can I swallow a grape hole? Honey, I don't think I'll ever try doing that. Um, especially not when I have COVID. <웃음> 아무튼 그래가지고 um, 그 뭐라고 뭐라고 하려고 했지? 아, 아무튼 코로나 때는 제일 좋은 거는 아그 오트밀 그러니까 소화 잘 되는 음식 일단 우선 라면 이런 거 이따가 먹으면 안 돼요. 가끔 가다 라면 먹는 거 좋고 그리고 뭐 담배 뭐 이런 거 이런 거 담배도 피면 안 되고요. Cough drops honestly man I I like binge that and um it was like <laughs> It hurt, it like numbed it, but I got like bad, like I got like a bad stomach ache after that, you know. Um, I do like blueberries. I do. I was, 자극, 그쵸? 자극적인 거는 먹으면 안 되죠. Um, stop being, uh, please draw. I, I will. I did have, I, you know what? I, did, I just had a shower, by the way, guys. And... Uh, I just brushed my teeth, and the grapes taste like ass because I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> I would dry my hair. I was just too eager to go on. Um, do 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 I have a fever? No, I don't. My music means so much to you. Thank you so much. Um, can I just say, speaking on the topic of music, while I was on tour, um, or just doing the shows that I have been doing up to now, and it's only been three, like, I've never felt such a connection to the people that I make music for, meaning, if you think about it, right, it's my first time ever really, really experiencing um, people like jam out to my shit. Um, like it's if you think about it, it's like it's my very first time seeing that. Um, it's my very first time seeing it and it's my very first time experiencing it. I didn't know what to expect. All I wanted, all I knew and all I wanted to do was really give you guys a, uh, an exceptional performance and I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still learning and I'm, it's still, it's still fairly new to me and I'm still, there's a lot of things I need to brush up on, but I, regardless, you know, I want to give you all that and honestly, Charlotte, Orlando, um, Florida, Miami, Florida, they have been exceptional and so far it's been so fucking amazing um the fans were just outrageous um i had an amazing time um despite regard like just disregarding like corona and everything like i would do that again in a heartbeat 
and this just gets me further excited for all the other shows uh, that I'm I'm going to see and I just want to see how loud you guys can be <laughs> because honestly the last three shows are fucking crazy um, man I just yeah it was, it was a moment and I really appreciate you guys I really do and um, just showing all the love that you have been um, you guys are amazing and it really is a dream come true um, I couldn't ask for anything more. 이제 저도 이렇게 저희가 이제 월드 투어 하고 다 끝나고 이제 한국도 이제 가야죠. 이제 한국도 가야 되고. 음. 그때 제가 좀 걱정인 게 그거죠. 저는 한국 한국에서 하면 아무도 아무도 제 노래를 안 따라 부를 것 같아요. 아, 뭘, 그러니까 일단은 제 노래를 약간 모를 것 같아가지고 한국에서 약간 다빈이는 다 알, 알긴 하는데 제 저는 아무래도 이제 한국도 한국말도 없고 많이 하다 보니까 아 한국 분들이 저희 노래 제 노래를 모르 모르겠다라는 생각이 드는 거예요 그래가지고. 근데 저는 그러면서 불구하고 그래도 사람 거기서 이제 어쨌든 음, 사람들한테 최선을 이제 그래도 다 해주는 게 목표니까 항상 그거는 음, 그거는 변함이 없을 거예요. 그래서 한, 저는 저도 이제 아무래도 한국 사람이고 한국 사람이다 보니까 그런 한국의 자부심이 있죠. 그래서 꼭 무조건 저는 한국의 팬들한테 진짜 잊지 못할 공연을 보여주고 보여드리고 싶어요. 그리고 항상 이제 음악도 그렇게 만들어 드리고 싶고. 아무튼 <웃음> 그게 그게 제 목표고요. Um, anyway, so um, that being said, um, will I will we be changing the set list on tour? That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm, who knows? 포도다. 뇨. Um. 아, 너무 밝아 이거 진짜. 이거 끄면 어떻게 되냐? 오케이, okay, never mind. 아, 수염은 저좀 이렇게 양해 부탁드립니다. 제가 아픈 동안 수염을 제가 밀 수가 없어가지고 그리고 제가 이제 나이가 좀 있다 보니까 이제 수염이 하루라도 이제. 밀지 않으면 이게 계속 생기더라고요. It looks like a minor eye because it is. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, oh, oh, 진짜 근육통 좀나. <웃음> 아 고마워. 누가 시험 있는 게더 섹시하대, 형. <웃음> 그게 그쵸? 남자들은 이 수염 있는 게 아무래도 되게 남자답고 음 되게 멋있다고 하고 이제 저희는 그렇게 생각하거든요 남자들은 근데 아뭐 약간 여자들은 좀 싫어하더라고요 사람마다 사, 그게 근데 사람마다 다른가? <웃음> 아시장 살에 걸렸어 I'm not. <coughs> I pulled those like. Oh, oh, what are we going to do? Look how fucking red my face went because the damn grape went up my fucking. Uh. Um, 
Sorry, but the grape went on my neck. 한테 무슨 얘기를 하고 있었죠? 아, 약간 여자, 약간 사람마다 다른가? 약간 수염 어울리는 남자가 있고 수염 어울리지 않는 어, 사람이 있고 저는 개인적으로 저는 서른, 음, 서른 다섯 아니야 어, 30대 중반 후, 후반 30대 후반부터 여기 수염이 이렇게 길를 거예요 뭘 하지 마요 <웃음> 근데 그것도 올려야지 길리죠 근데 저는 길르고 싶어요 이제 좀 나이 나이 먹으면서 나이답게 행동을 해야 되겠죠 <웃음> 그리고 외적인 것도 좀 <웃음> 아무튼 um, Anyway 올라 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 미고스 Anyway, um, yes, I do. I, I have heard of it. And chamomile tea is absolutely golden. Uh-huh. Um, hmm. Hope I get worse in. Thank you. I hope I go. Anyway, guys, um, hold on. C, C, C. No, no, no. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to go boy on. I will go to Mexico. I am getting better. Mexico is on our list. Peru, um, Brazil, you're all on our list. Um, obviously, Asia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Teach me Spanish. What's my favorite utensils? I like chopsticks. I like chopsticks. Maybe because I'm Asian, but I like it. It's it's the most you can do anything with it except eat soup. You can't. Oh wait, no, you no you can't really. You can't pick up soup or liquid. By the way, honey is is a very is a natural. Damo, 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 damo. <laughs> I mean, I hope I'm not butchering it, but hey. Anyway, um, what is this, man? What is this? Why do I get all these like? Oh shit! I didn't know there was like this question section. What I do? What I press was this. Opinions on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. Just what I need. Um, <laughs> um, if you're referring to these nuts, then my opinion shouldn't matter. Um, anyway, next question. This is a good question. Um, Okay, well, I can't fucking... How do you do this shit? Um, will we get... Okay, that's a good question. Okay, so will we get the Mino movie part two? Okay, regarding this, you know what? I'm going to be straight out honest with you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll ever release it. <laughs> um... And I don't know if I'll ever release it. Um, mainly because... Um, God, should I? I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. I I think I'll I'll have to think about this one. Um I've I mean it's I have it. Like it's not no I haven't finished making it, sorry. But um I don't know if I should make this into something that um I don't know if I'm missing the timing. I don't know if by the time I release it it's gonna be you know, people are just not gonna be that interested anymore and um and obviously the world tour is taking a toll on me. Um, and taking away the time for me to like finishing this. So I don't know. It's just a lot of things are factoring in. Like I wish I had a team to work on my behalf. Um, you know, I just wish I had a team that can work on my behalf. Um, on, on my videos and stuff like that. I really do. Um, I, and, and, you know, like, this is why it's conflicting because I want to finish it for my fans. I want to show it to you guys so much. Um, if you guys are okay for waiting. <laughs> and, and the thing is, um, it's, you know, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's pretty difficult juggling, um, just being an artist and but also having to self manage everything you know from just everything I guess and um I guess when you don't have that many people to help you um just just stuff like this will get in the way and um you're getting sick just talking to me Maybe I should be a little bit more, <laughs> more in your face. No, I was kidding. Um, um, hey, placebo. I'm not sick. I just have a. I just have a more cooler voice now. <laughs> I wish. Um, but anyway, yeah, it is. It is a. It is. It has been quite um, difficult to bring this up, just because I know how much it took out of me making the first one. I just don't. And, you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people um, aren't that interested <laughs> in 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 this type of video. Um, I think people are just more, you know, invested in, like, singles and just, like, you know, just, just stuff like that. I don't know. Um sometimes I think man am I really just opening up too much of of me personally am I really am I really diving too deep into what I do um and it's it's kind of I don't know as a as a creator it's it's hard sometimes um it's a lot of uh it it just I don't know I it confuses me because I think it's a question of um, like at the end of the day, right? Um, I want to, I, 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 like my artistry, I live on for it because I want to leave an impact. I want to, I want someone to stop and not be able to like turn away from it. But at the same time, I want to feed something inside of them when they watch something of mine and they listen to something i want them to feel like they want to do something about how they feel right now you know what i mean um and and i think this is a good point um someone brought i think someone said i think numbers are important but at the end of the day it's fulfillment why you leave before your time is up i think this is a very good point um someone brought up numbers are important it absolutely is um if honestly um me personally i couldn't get i couldn't care less but uh in longevity um in terms of keeping your morale going um keeping let's say i don't know like let's say the money coming in or or the hype or whatever it is um, there is 
there's a the really the difficult thing about this is I have a timeline on my artistry. Like I'm not going to be doing this forever, you know, um, because I can't. <laughs> I can't be doing this forever and I'm getting to an age where not only the things that I do here's the thing like if I was just doing music if I was just focusing on music um, that would be all I could ever focus on and even that would be something that would take so much out of me but I do the producing uh, the, obviously the, the making of the music, the concept uh, development, the planning for the music videos, um, partially the shooting, uh, the obviously the acting in it, and then the performance, and then right down to the editing. <laughs> and um, my God, you know, like <clears throat> it's difficult to to juggle just one compartment sometimes, but when you have that much going for you and um, you have that much on your plate and it's, uh, I'm not crying, <laughs> but I'm not crying, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not. Um, and you have just that much, um, I mean, I, it's my choice. I, I, I choose, to, I'm not, <laughs> why does everyone think I'm crying? It's my choice. I decided to do this, so I take full responsibility, and no one's asking me not to do it. But I think the latter is, um, you know, it just gets a little tough sometimes um, because I want to keep that momentum going. I really do. I really want to keep pushing forward, and I want to. The thing is, I, like, the one thing I would hate the most would be to do this, do what I do, like, do this artistry. And at the end of the day, just be like, fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore because I can't keep it up. But um, honestly, by the look of a lot of these things, uh, by the look of just the project, the trajectory of, of how, I, how I've been doing it, um, it, it has taken such, such a toll. And it's not even because I have like bipolar. I mean, that is a big part to it, but I think it's because of just how much I invest into um, my own art. And, um, you know, like for me, I'm, I'm, I'm such a perfectionist uh, where I want to show my fans only the best. You know, I want to one-up myself. Um, and I constantly want to do that because I do it for... I just think these days, right, I just think art, artistry, um, you name it, I'm gonna just be straight up. I just think artistry these days have become has become such a fad where its value has just become so cheap. Um, I feel like nowadays it's just it's very it's it's more about the hype. It's more about the um, it's not it's more about what that person's doing and seeing if I could just fucking. Uh, get something stimulated out of that and you know it's it's really about marketing a lot more these days rather than the, the generic um, or let's say organic um, growth of things and it sucks because as technology gets more advanced um, uh, it's going to be inevitable um <laughs> And that's why I, I've always stuck to my roots of wanting to do a story based on personal, strong beliefs, real, genuine, authentic, um, like, a, like an authentic version of my life. Because that is literally what I believe I can offer to the world. And I believe that is, if anything, if anything... Um, my colors of what I can give to the world, just artistry wise, you know, um, I just don't like how a lot of the music that's coming out, a lot of the, a lot of the scene, the, the way the scene's taking a turn is, it's becoming so saturated. It's, it's, it, and at one point you have to 
play into it. You know, I have to play into it. But I want to be really smart about this because I don't want to play into it to the point where it's like, oh, that motherfucker's selling out. It's, I'm, I'm sure there's a key way of organically building your fans, your followers, whilst steadily going up. Like, I would hate for something to go viral for me just because um, it would be so, something so hard to just get out of because that's what you're forever going to be known as. Um, unless you could top that, which, by the way, I'm, <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes. But for me, I mean, this, this talk happened because we're talking about numbers and everything. But, you know, as any artist or any content creator, numbers is important. It's what keeps longevity it's what uh, keeps the ball rolling but ultimately it is up to me to um, further ensue that you know so <clears throat> I have been it's it's such a it's such it's such a it's so trivial isn't it because you know like you gotta have a good amount of knowing how to sell yourself with a good amount of okay let's not be cringe about it you know but man i just see so much cringe ass stuff like like i just fucking so much like i just can't i just sometimes can't do it because it's like um you know like it's it's just not me like if you could be cringe if you want but i and what i mean by cringe is it's not like it's not self-love. Self-love is a different thing. I mean, like, shit, man. Like, I mean, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, it's just a lot of stuff like that that I I see. And it's like, man, that's how the market's being saturated right now. And I'm sure, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I, I look at that and it's, it's, for me, man, I just look at that. I'm like, fuck it. I just, I'll do it just for my fans. I don't care. Let me build a fucking cult then. Fuck it. Let me just do it for the fans that want to listen to my stuff and want to feel what I feel. Um, I, I just had enough. I just can't. Cause I, the thing is, man, I'm, I'm over this. Like, I just, <laughs> it's hard for me to see something that doesn't come from like a genuine authentic ideal or, or, or place. Um, it's, it's, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to me when they say that. Like I can never sing about, I just can't, I can never sing about like guns, monies and you know, like all that, like, the, you know, I just can't sing about stuff like that, for example. And for, for people that sing like that, um, that come from that background, I mean, I mean, that's completely because it's it's in their experience, you know. But then, I, you know, there are people that do sing a lot about things that um, are completely fabricated from a saturation of, of what the market seems like it's going to sell to, right? And honestly, that's like, you know, like, I'm not saying i'm better than that by the way i'm just saying for me personally personally i just have <laughs> i just i just can't i just sometimes see that and i just can't um relate to it i guess you could say and i'm sure i'm sure a lot of people can understand what i'm trying to say um but man a lot of that things a lot of those things they like sell so i mean <laughs> you know um so at one point I I had to like really think hard because it's like I sometimes see a lot of artists go the way that I do for example and they bloom and then when they start blooming um they start generically uh changing or adapting to the system um uh, meaning you know they start obviously by biting into this you know and the thing is, like, um, if that's what it takes for somebody to go to the next level or go to the next step, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, they because they do start losing themselves, and I think what I'm very fortunate about, by the way, guys, is what I'm fortunate about is I'm I'm lucky. I started um, the music scene when I was like twenty, twenty years old. So I started what like over twelve over a decade, and if I started Mido. Um, when I was in my 20s, my 22s, or my mid-20s, I would have easily probably folded. I probably would have sold out like that. Like, I'm not going to lie. Fuck it, man. I probably would have done that too. Because I was young, dumb, and just, just like, that's all I saw, you know? Um, but I'm glad that I went through the venture that I went through. Um... And I reached an age where I've seen so much shit. <laughs> I've been through much. I've been I've been through enough to just be like, you know what? I know what's real. Um, I want to be for the people. I want to represent. Okay, this is a funny thing. Like I've been telling I've been telling people this um, all over my tour, but you know, in the beginning, I found. I've had the hardest time figuring out why um, I wanted to do this or why I had to continue doing this. Number one, because I'm not someone. You like twenty year old girls? What the fuck? Um, no, I was saying when I was twenty, I'm la- I'm glad that I didn't. <laughs> um, when I was twenty, I'm glad that I didn't. I wasn't into Mido, like, I wasn't doing Mido, but anyway, what was I saying, um, fuck, man, what was I saying, (laughs) I fucking hate my intrusive thoughts, um, um, so anyway, oh, fuck, man, what was I saying, (laughs) I just can't believe I forgot what I was saying, um, oh, shit, man, I really, like, man, I have a, (sighs) I have the memory span of a fucking goldfish. Um, oh yeah, sorry. I was like, oh, sorry. As I was saying, um, so I didn't. I I really didn't know why I should like keep doing this because number one, I have a very hard time being in the spotlight. Um, for me, I relate more to the people that are in the crowd rather than that one on the stage. So, for example, if I was to see a performance. Um, on TV or something, I relate more to the people in the crowd, like, cheering on, and I sometimes wonder if the artist is, if the artist or whoever's on stage understands, like, how much they're affecting, like, how many people they're affecting right now, I wonder if they could even grasp that, you know, if they, if they could even fathom that. And then I realized, man, like, I was just another person in the crowd that just had stage. That just had the stage. Like, that's what it feels like for me. For me, it feels like I'm, like, one of you guys out there, right? I'm, like, every single one of you guys in the crowd. But I was just given a chance to go to stand on this stage. And in the beginning, I was very reluctant because, again, I'm not uh, I'm not comfortable with taking that center stage. I like helping. I like giving. Um, but I but at the same time, I do have a story to tell. <laughs> um. So for me. Um. I kind of think of it as, well, I decided to think of it as I've gotten the opportunity to now speak for everyone. And it, you don't, and the thing is, you don't just, you don't need to have a disorder. Um, I just happen to have one. And, you know, everyone goes through shit. Everyone has something at the end of the day. It's not like we're living in this like utopia of a society. So I made it. A goal of mine. I want to make it a goal of mine. I want to make it... Let's say I want to make it uh, a reason. 
of mine to do this being I want to be I want to represent I want to be one of the representatives of for you guys out there and I just want to say you guys are just as special and you guys can take the stage just as much as I took it like I want to just encourage that I don't want to take the stage from anybody I want to give the stage to people is what I'm trying to say um, but you know what I mean like that's kind of what I um, truly think like that's what I truly believe my purpose is um, I really think that's what my purpose of, of doing what I do is and if it's through my music if it's through my visuals if it's through something right I if it's if it's something that's inside you, and what I mean by take the stage by the way um, darling it's it doesn't mean like get on stage <laughs> it means being good at or just shining shining on the things that you love doing right now so if you have if you love doing something i don't know it could be anything if you want to be a football player or if you want to be i don't know um um the the managers to, to mcdonald's or something like that i don't care it could be anything i'm saying that's your stage um no judging it's just Go for your stage. Um, if I can encourage you to be better at whatever you want to be better at, or if you actually, if I could just encourage you to go for what you want to really go for, and if it's something that you're inspired by because you heard my music, my the way I talk, what I preach, um, just my visual, just my journey, I think that's the. I think that's the identity aspect of it. I think that's the whole point of, of why I, I delve myself, my personal self into this so much. It's because through my personal story, I think it allows people to see that I am as human as you are. At the end of the day, I am as flawed and I am as stupid as sometimes I am as, you know, reckless. <laughs> um, but I am also as loving and caring and honestly, I get sad a lot too. I get so, I doubt myself like a fucking billion times before I get something right. <laughs> and honestly, it's, that's what I think the world needs. I think the world needs to see not everything has to be fucking perfect. And it's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be such a stigma of, of an artist having to be like that you know what i mean that's why i love showing my downs that's why i love like people say look at it as something very dark and, and sinister but man i always say the most dark and miss and sinister looking things are the most misunderstood honestly um and for me i don't know like i it's not like I mean, you know, we we say like mental health is such a taboo thing, but honestly, fucking being imperfect is a taboo thing nowadays. Like it's just fucking it's just the way it is, man. Um but the thing is that's just what I want to offer to people. I just want to show them that I don't know if it's through me or if it's through anybody else, man. I'm going to be straight up. I just want to be honest. Um, I want to be that somebody for you. I want to be that gateway. I want to be that funnel. Uh, let me be that for you, you know. In this, in this fucking tipsy-turvy of a reality that we're in, we can't change the system, you know. We're already in it, so fuck it, man. Might as well just make something out of it. Um, and the thing is, I'm just let me. <laughs> let's just heal along the way. And fuck it, you don't have to. 
be happy all the time. You don't have to like, nothing has to be resolved all the time. I don't know why we're trying to, we, we, I don't know why we're so wrapped up in trying to like solve a lot of things and trying to resolve it. And we're making the problem only be bigger, 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 bigger. Um, just be yourself. Uh, be happy in your skin. Because you're fucking worth it. Everyone's worth it. Like, everyone's the same. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I'm not, like... There's nothing different about me, man. There's nothing different about anyone. It's... it's We're all the same here. We all end up in the same place. <laughs> we start in the same. We end up in the same. So what do we really have going on in this whole life, really? Other than what we can do for each other what we can give to people what we can what we can share compassionately um you know and honestly man like that's all i ever that's all i really want to do with my um artistry i don't know how this all came to this point but honestly that's what i want to do um yes we all bleed the same and you know someone's got to tell you but man let me just tell you like, fuck it, man. You're not alone. I'm right there with you. <laughs> we can both be fucking alone. But till then, no giving up, right? Till then, let's, let's stick it in. Let's just try a little harder. Just, you know, for whatever fucking reason. Because we'll never know what tomorrow looks like. And we'll never know what the next day looks like. Um, it's got to be worth something. It's so easy to give up. It really is. It really is. We can... And here's the thing. The one thing... I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Um, you know, I always hold myself like... Fuck it, man. Like... If I wanted to end it, I can always end it. Like... There's nothing stopping me from doing that. I can always end it. Like... But that's the thing, right? Like, you can always end it whenever you want. But the thing is... If you, with that mindset, when... Ha- I don't think I was ever truly living, you know, and it's funny, it's very ironic, because we all get to that point, we all get to the point where we go to the fucking ground, and we're like, this is it, man, this is the worst, this is like, this is as bad as it gets, but, (laughs) but you know what, it's, I mean, that's just life, it just, it just throws you to the floor, and where we as survivors, we somehow pick it pick ourselves back up and um when we do we don't realize how strong we are we don't realize how much stronger we get um but we do at the end of the day uh sorry i've been fucking ranting so much but anyway all i wanted to say guys was um i'm I'm not i'm not drunk maybe on corona but i'm not drunk um i just wanted to say you're literally at rock bottom right now It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay to be there right at the rock bottom. Because that's when you change. That's when you grow. Honestly, that... I always thought when I was at my rock bottom, I was at my worst. When in fact, I was actually at my best. Because, man, being at the rock bottom made me feel, see a lot of things... um, reflect and and most importantly um be a person a version of me that i so desperately wanted to get out of and i think it was through that that i've i don't know there was just so many moments in in that moment where i've i realized a lot of things but when i came out of that when you come out of that and you will you always do um you'll be amazed of what type of person you become and that's the type of person that um, we're all here for. We're all fucking here for it, you know? You're not alone, man. You're not. If if you are alone, well, trust me, it's not going to last that long. <laughs> There's always somebody. There's always somebody. There's always some someone or something. Um, um, yeah. So, you know... How bad can it be? Really? How bad can it be? Like, just tell yourself that. How fucking bad can it be? Like, how bad is it? Like, really? (laughs) How bad can you be? 
at the end of the day, really how bad can it be? Um, am I alone? No, I'm, I'm most certainly not alone. I'm not. Who's my someone or who's my something? My mum. My mum's definitely number one. Yeah, she's right there. Always has been, you know. Um, family, you know. Uh, friends, obviously. I've, I have amazing people. And I think most importantly, now, ever since I started my artistry and, and my road and my journey, and ever since I came out public with it, with, with it you guys. That's why I know I'm not alone. It's because I have you guys. I have, I have all you out there. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's not one way. It doesn't go one way. I'm there for you guys too. And I will do that relentlessly through my music, through my videos, through my lives, through whatever you need. I'll be there for my dreamers. And um, honestly, if you want to cry, if you want to scream if you want to fucking hit a brick wall I, I, mean, I, I recommend you don't do that but um if you want to just fucking shout if you want to like go running off just do it man feel a little just, you know feel a little <laughs> live a little and just let it go there's nothing wrong with that if you want to talk to me here like we are <laughs> i'll be here time to time um but yeah, um, man, this took a fucking turn. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to get that off my chest. And um, I mean, I wasn't really, it was, never was on my chest, but I, for some reason, I I just, I, the life turned into this. Uh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, like that is my definition of, of what, what, what I want to do with my artistry. I don't want it to be none, nothing other than just from how I really am, authentically, purely how I feel. But in order for that to be the case, it's people have to. <laughs> you gotta understand. It's it comes from a genuine spot, and I am, I am there for everyone, just like you. You are for me, you know. <laughs> Yes. So, hey. <laughs> I should make a podcast. Man, people, people, you know what? That would be amazing. Honestly, if I can make a podcast and if that could save somebody's life, that would be everything. Honestly, that's all. Because all we ever need sometimes is just to be heard, but also for somebody to talk, for somebody to speak what's on our minds. That's all we need to, that's all we need to hear sometimes. Um, that's all we need to, it's not even to listen, it's also just to like hear that sometimes. It's it's just refreshing, um, you know. You can't be too stuck into your own mind. You can't, don't think too much, like, <laughs> like me, don't think too much. <laughs> um, Yes, please make a podcast. I maybe you know what you know maybe that that might be one of my. There's just so many podcasts. Maybe I'll do mine differently. Maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll shoot like a music video. While I'll do it. No, no. Um, Thoughts for dreamers. That is, and that's an amazing title. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I think that's a brilliant idea. Having a podcast, and really 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 getting in you know what you don't look crazy <laughs> like if you go no, it's just... no never mind <laughs> um that would be cool i mean if you guys would listen to it why not no. that is the creative side that is the creative side um but yeah no i never really thought of uh podcasts or something maybe maybe in the future or something like that um I will hug you. Virtual hug right back at you. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the people that I'm talking to right now are overthinkers. That's why you, you, you're you here. You're here for the show. Um, Two thirds of, of uh, the rest of my followers have left. You know, those are the, uh, 
you know they don't they don't delve too much or they have plans so they have to move on but um i'm sure a lot of people here are the ones that just overthink a lot um like i do um i get a lot of thoughts coming in you know maybe it's like adhd but i just get a lot of thoughts coming in and it just like and then it piles on and just and i just go down a rabbit hole but um <clears throat> but hey man it's it's cool it's cool it's cool to overthink <laughs> do you do you like ctv uh I, I don't watch tv i keep it on just because it's i like the ambience yeah i like we just of course um yeah so oh my god what a long ass life today um, I just wanted to, I just came on to tell you I was coping well and, um, and coping with my overthinking because somebody's asking me how I cope with my overthinking. I don't, I don't, I don't cope with it at all. Um, for me, I just, I like to overthink. Um, but I think there's a very fine line with, um, I think this was thing where if you think too much, um, when you're by yourself, if you're not in a good state mentally, um, I don't like to overthink then because then I start creating scenarios in my head and I become very distant with reality, if you know what I mean. Um, so I don't recommend, if you're not in a good spot, um, I don't recommend thinking at all because that's not going to do you any good. It's going to do you more harm than, than good. If you're in a good spot, you can think as much as you want. Um, but if you're not, um, I don't recommend staying in in a room by yourself and just like going at yourself, creating like 500 scenarios at a minute. Um, just don't do that because that's what will, that is what um, stems and spurts a lot of unhealthy energy into your body. So don't do that. <clears throat> um, number one thing I've always found out that helped with my um, like uh, I guess my my depressions and and my mood changes and um, because I have to work with this on a day to day um, with my bipolar is I literally try disciplining myself not to think first thing in the morning. So I I create a schedule where I don't, I have to immediately do something and I stick to it. And it gives me a routine to do something without thinking. Um, but the thing is, I may, I find that task to be something that gives back to me. For example, if it's jogging in the morning and then I come back and I eat uh, health like my favorite uh, meal of uh, Greek yogurt and berries um, to reward what I have accomplished it's kind of like when you you know it's kind of like when you're back in school and you do like these little tasks and the and the teacher puts like a little sticker next to your name uh, every time you you completed the task but you know, what's funny about this is, um, psychologically, that is something that actually, um, like, allows you to not, like, allows you to be in a very healthy state. Uh, for me, anyway, that's what I've always realized was a big thing uh, for me to overcome coming a lot of my mood changes. For me, when, when my your anxiety is high in the morning yeah same likewise it's for me a lot of the times where i get my, a lot of my mood swings a lot of my depression my slumps is when i feel like my my life course or what i'm doing is the trajectory is going off um so once i feel like my trajectory is off balance um and it starts compiling that's when i feel like uh, my slumps start kicking in and all that. Um, for people, I feel like we want to feel like we're accomplished. We want to feel like we're growing. We f we want it. We want to see that. We want to see results. Um, and <clears throat> I 
no easy way to sugarcoat it. You can't cheat your cheat yourself doing that. You have to, you have to work out. Like you not work out, but you have to discipline yourself to work on that routine. You got to come up with your own system, um, and it could be a and that's self respect. You could keep a promise to yourself. If you don't keep a promise to yourself, that's kind of like you're disrespecting yourself. That's kind of how I say it to myself. So for me, um, I. I start off with something very small. For example, if it's like um, just ten push-ups every day, um, every morning, just ten push-ups. Like that's just that one promise I I I set out. Like I start off very small, and if I could keep that within the next few days, I increase it. I'm Peppa Pig. What, what the hell's Peppa Pig? Um, so I increase it. So, and then slowly it becomes building a relationship with myself and being more confident with um, setting up goals, um, initial goals that I can easily kick in and, and, and do and accomplish. And the, the most important thing is, even if you miss one day of that though, even if you skip, um, that's when it, you don't want to do that. You don't want to, um, you don't want to skip any of that. Like if the minute you skip that, you, you, you're breaking a promise to yourself and the minute you break a promise to yourself, that means you stop respecting yourself. Meaning your, yourself is going to be indulged in the fucking slumps and you're going to, you're, you're going to be start, you're going to start indulging in depression again. Um, it's a, it's a cycle. That's really how it works. And, um, I'm not saying like you should do a push up. I'm just saying <laughs> it, it could be something as simple as that. Um, for, yeah, for those that have insomnia, for me, I have insomnia too, just because I overthink. I, I try to make it a routine throughout my day where I have to go to the extent of tiring myself out mentally, but also physically. Um, I've also realized that if I don't get sunlight, like if I don't get sunlight on my body, um, my body clock doesn't formulate in a way where I have I have a much harder time sleeping. The days that I usually get a lot of sunlight on my body, uh, where I'm exposed to a lot of sun, is the days that I actually sleep pretty uh, more decent than than I had before. Um, so the thing is, I I think that is one big thing for people that have um, insomnia is because their body clocks aren't regulated towards if you're not getting enough sun I think that's that's one thing um, if you have like anxiety attacks at night and everything find your zen, uh, find your I like to call it like your back room for me I I've created um, like for me for example right I have my go to back room. Uh, it's not like an actual back room, but it's like a system that I follow that helps me get out of that, um, that, that anxiety attack or that panic attack. For example, um, I would listen to a certain list of songs. Um, and it'll be the same exact songs. I won't tell you what songs they are, but I would allow, I'll be in the mirror or I'll, I mean, I, I would have this ritual, for example. Oh, sorry, ritual is the right word. I'll create a ritual that gives to you, that gives back to what, um, that, that allows you to let go and feel a lot of things, that challenges you. Um, so for me, I make that, even if I'm not going through these uh, manic episodes or, or stuff like that, I still make it a habit to to go through that ritual um, and every day before I sleep. And the thing is, um, I like to switch it up here and there so it doesn't get boring. Um, <coughs> uh, if, if, if medicine isn't working for you guys, um, I don't recommend you constantly get at it. 
because for me too medicine hasn't always been the ideal thing it's either you're prescribed the wrong type of medicine or um you just haven't found the right one for you um for me like being on being on bipolar like lithium was like one of the worst things that i had to take but the thing is um and methadone i think it was but that those things helped me sleep but it didn't regulate it regulated my moods but it changed me as a person so i i couldn't agree with that um honestly man like sleep the best medicine for sleep is just your mental state it's literally how you are and your mental state really does come from your lifestyle habits and your your the the things that are affecting your lifestyle if you look at your lifestyle right now and your and there are a lot of things that aren't that you're very dissatisfied with and it's gnawing at you and it's giving you the stress and it's like fucking with you then um honestly that is probably the ultimate answer of why you can't sleep and stuff like that um um yeah so honestly that is the thing um for me i don't like to resort too much to medication because then i start becoming too lenient towards that um yeah so that's a good point someone said i'm start, i'm scared to start there because what if my creative side dies because that's my life career that's exactly like me um the the minute i started taking medication i my creative side just went off it just went out like i didn't like it just it didn't exist that's why i felt like i lost a part of myself which is why i've learned to live with my manic disorder and i've learned to utilize it in in the most efficient way um but that's only through um a lifestyle a healthy lifestyle that i decided to the changes that i decided to make um but that has to be solemnly up to me and that if you can't if you're not going to make that effort to change a lot in your lifestyle um then i'm sorry but there's it's a lot harder than for you to not resort to medication um melatonin doesn't do shit to me as well um yes yeah yeah um but anyway um sorry i've been <laughs> i don't know when this became like i don't know when this became like uh a doctor you thing um no i'm just kidding but um no if that could if that helped any of you guys um i'm um i would i i absolutely think it it should hurt adderall makes you boring which is why i refuse to get diagnosed with adhd yeah um the thing is um for me too like i because i have i have a i have a slight case of adhd too i'm sure you guys have have kind of noticed that by now but adderall does help you it does help me stay stabilize on a lot of the things it helps me get a lot of things done for example um i know people use that as a test drug or something but for me um adderall wasn't like i didn't use it for like tests and stuff like that it just helped me stabilize being able to function sometimes um and most importantly be- because it allowed me to f- function it allowed me to regulate my moods um but there for me it um uh, because i don't know a lot of people have trouble sleeping when they are on adderall um just because it's your mind so active at that point but uh for people that do have adhd it seems to work pleasantly well but i don't recommend um i don't recommend adderall um and three million monthly listeners on spotify thank you (laughs) that's crazy to me man that's crazy um I just can't believe that that's that's insane that's that's crazy that's insane i can't wait to perform sh- again anyway but anyway uh sorry i've been talking way too long i've been on this live for so long it's insane um um but thank you guys so much for being here if you felt um if you felt 
somewhat relieved. Um, um, why not, you know? But yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I love you all, and you have all been a blessing. You have all been. You still are a blessing. <laughs> Um, life is fucking crazy, but we're all here for it. Um, and yeah, man, like, I can't wait. Can't wait to see you guys on tour. Fuck yeah, get ready to turn up. Um, get ready to just scream your lungs out. I'll see you in Jakarta. I I will, I'll see you in Jakarta. Can't wait for that tour too, in the Asia. Um, but yeah, just... Can't, can't wait to see you all from <laughs> everywhere else. Um, I love you all, Brazil. Yes. Mexico. God, I gotta get some rest now, eh? <laughs> I've been on for so long. <laughs> um, thank you, guys. I love you all. See you in the Philippines. And um, thank you so much for coming to life. Remember, guys, you're not alone. I'm right there with you guys. And I do this for you. I'm here for it. Let's make let's make a minor cult. <laughs> anyway. Um yeah, thank you so much. And thank you guys for the loving messages. I'll see you guys pretty soon. Bye bye.